I'm Jada. I'm Jacob. I'm Joy. I'm Jamie. I'm Julie. I'm Jasmine. I'm Jedi. I'm Jackson. I'm Jet. I'm Jenny. I'm Jeremiah. I'm Jessica. I'm Brenda. I'm Toby. And we are the Willis Clan. The Willis is like big families, and we mean really big. Brenda here married Toby. He's the second of Reverend Scott and Janet Willis's nine children. You were already married. When the accident happened, I was married, had two kids, and actually we had number three on the way. I was pregnant with Jenny, and the first thing my mom said, Brenda, you got to remember to take care of yourself. You can't get so overwhelmed emotionally that you hurt the baby that you're carrying. That unborn baby, now 19-year-old Jenny, wrote a song for her lost uncles and aunt called Road to Watertown. It's a happy piece, um, but it still has some of those chords in there that are like heart-wrenching. When we play it, I don't think about the accident. It was mid-morning when Jenny's grandparents, Reverend Scott and Janet Willis, were on their way to Watertown, Wisconsin to visit their son Dan and his family. Near Milwaukee, they ran over a piece of metal. When we hit the object, the rear exploded, taking the car out of control. The fire was around us even before the van stopped sliding. And I was yelling to get out of the car. Despite their heroic efforts, the youngest five children died immediately. The eldest, Ben, the next day. Benny's courage, 13-year-old especially. Um... That's a great memory. People around the world were deeply saddened, yet amazed by the couple's strength. The depth of pain is indescribable. The Bible expresses our feelings that we sorrow, but not as those without hope. The Willis tragedy also exposed a political scandal in Illinois when it was learned the truck driver whose rig lost that piece of metal had bribed a state worker for his license. The resulting federal investigation and cover-up sent dozens of state employees to jail, including former Illinois Governor George Ryan. I'm thankful to uh, all the people of the city of Chicago and all people who have been so good to Janet and me. Five years after the crash, the Willises won a $100 million out-of-court settlement. We have the joy of the Lord, and uh, we do have 15 grandchildren that come to the house that uh, are a great joy to us. And... Uh, they're not replacement kids, they're just a, a great joy. After losing the brothers and sister, you know, you, you, it really helps focus on, you know, what's important. Important this August night at Irish Fest, thanking the people of Milwaukee on the 20th anniversary. And then on number 12, spinning set. Toby isn't the only surviving sibling with a large family. Older sister Amy and her husband Alan have nine kids, and brother Dan and his wife Kim have 13. Grandparents, siblings, cousins came from Tennessee, Michigan, and Illinois to say thanks. One by one, the Willis family filed on stage, standing shoulder to shoulder as the unsuspecting crowd watched a videotape tribute. Toby, who created the video and runs audio for the band, watched the reaction from the audience. When you have thousands of people kind of stand up and, uh, you know, acknowledge the situation. It was, it was very moving for me. People came back to us after that and were just overwhelmed with um, thoughts and memories of the accident. But then they were so uplifted by seeing all the kids on stage, the whole family together. A lot of them were so surprised they had no idea that our family had gone on to do, part of our family had gone on to do this. The Willis clan lives in Tennessee now and has doubled in size since moving from Chicago in 2001. I would double on the choruses so that you get, yeah. I would never let you get this. Yeah. The kids are all homeschooled and their days are filled with music and family, those present and past. This wrestling photo of their lost uncles is a constant reminder to appreciate every loved one every day. Scott and Janet followed Toby's family to Nashville in 2004, just in time to help their second son and his family recover from a house fire that destroyed most of their earthly possessions. My mother-in-law went through a fire and she lost her six kids. I went through a fire and I didn't lose any of mine. And when the house burn, did burn down, you know, I'm like, well, I've had worse happen to me, <laughs> you know. It's a whole new perspective on life, 
and they believe they've been given a platform to help others going through tough times. That platform now includes regular appearances at the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville, the country music capital of the world. On nights like this, they pinch themselves to be playing between the legendary Lee Greenwood and country superstar Keith Urban. The neat thing about our band is it's kind of perpetual. We have the younger ones coming up and they love to sing and they love to dance and they are learning to play instruments. We wake up in the morning and say, what's going to happen today? It just seems like the roller coaster goes up and down, up and down. You know, after a while you quit trying to grab on, you quit trying to steer, you just throw your hands up and go, let's enjoy the ride. Chicago's a great town. I'm glad, been there, done that, have the t-shirt. <laughs> Been to the, it's funny, I still call it the Sears Tower, even though technically it's the Willis Tower now. Although we, we joke about wanting to make a video about having all the kids with our suitcases look like we're going in and out, and then we want to stage a fake video that that's where we live. We've got so many kids that that's why we bought out the Willis Tower. Of course, it'd be the biggest joke, but I, you know, we you think it'd be. You have to do that. That's it, it's, brilliant it's, we've got to do that. I'll get my brother and my sister, so I'll we have like. It. We we'll have like 30 <laughs> kids, you know, just in a little one-minute video on, you know, this is our, this is our home, this I is where we live. It. We bought out this here stock. When we hit the object, the rear exploded, taking the car out of control. The fire was around us even before the van stopped sliding. And I was yelling to get out of the car. I must tell you that we hurt and sorrow, as you parents would for your children. The depth of pain is indescribable. The Bible expresses our feelings, that we sorrow, but not as those without hope. As to the future, we are going to laugh and smile with tremendous memories of the kids. We will try our best to acknowledge the outpouring of, of sympathy and encouragement from the people of America toward us.
to Watercolor.
Clan.